Okay. Hello, everybody. And for those of you who have just gotten in at the last minute, my goodness, let's see, Penny and Stephanie and Bill and everybody. Let's see. I don't have my glasses on, so I'm sure, hey, and I think I said everything. Um, I want to welcome to, uh, to Monday Night Zoom for the very first time as a ranked leader of this team, Teresa Lasden. She has been with me for 13 months, y'all. She just hit manager last night. And I'm going to tell you something right now. If you don't believe that doing daily consistent IPAs work, you need to talk to Teresa because she has been doing it every single day for two months. And I'm going to, I mean, she has got people signing up left and right. And I am so excited. She's got another one about to sign up tonight. Uh, I really think that she's going to double rank this month after she's been doing this for 13 months. And it's the, it's the difference in um, being consistent and doing, and I've said it all the time. You can do this business full-time. You can do this business part-time. You can do this business in your, in your spare time, but you cannot do it sometimes. You cannot do it sometimes. It has to be done every single day. And she's been doing it every single day for the past few months. and now all of a sudden it's just like it's christmas in july for her and for a lot of you you guys so um it i tell you last month she her and uh her and um her team had done had done it every single day every single day and they were not getting anywhere and they were not getting anywhere people were just she, they were in so many chats and i said be patient because i promise you if you keep doing it you're going to see the harvest. And so guess what she's seen this month? She has seen, and like my cucumbers, she has seen a harvest. So I'm really, really excited for that Alabama team. And if you have anybody that lives near Tuscaloosa, near Birmingham, near Coleman, I am going to be there Thursday and Friday. We're doing some city meetings there. And um, I am really, really excited to support this Alabama team. We've been waiting on y'all for a long time. So, and Holly, I think Holly's on here. Holly's in Birmingham. She's on a sister line, but she's going to be joining us at those meetings too. Um, so we got some Alabama folks coming up and I'm really excited about what's going on there. Okay. So I was, I said a lot more about that than I was going to, but, um, but I did say that just to let you guys know, anybody in um, West central Alabama, I guess is where it would be uh, around the Birmingham area. Um, please, please, please make sure you send them. If you need the flyer, it's in boards under events and then under city meetings. Okay. Our Christmas in July is in full force. We just gave away $150 Amazon card to Stephanie. Um, she is under Jennifer Grubbs. So congratulations. She is a customer. She had two entries in that. She got to pick, she chose the Amazon card. So thank you, thank you, thank you uh, for participating in that. We could see a huge growth in our, um, a huge, huge growth in our, um, in our numbers for the subscriptions. So um, that was awesome. Um, we have got that $1,500 giveaway. We are giving away $1,500 cash the 1st of August, you guys. The way you enter, is to get signups. That's it. Just get somebody enrolled with at least 120 points. You have to pay your entry fee. If you, if you became a distributor prior to July 1st, you have to pay an entry fee in order for you and anybody that you sign up as a distributor to participate. And all of that is in, under announcements on the leaders page. But I'm gonna tell you, there is a lot of people that we have signed up that are not on subscription. And it is not going to be fun when we call your name and you didn't even ask the person if they would, if they would um, sign up for the rewards program and you could have had $1,500. That is not going to be a fun day just because you didn't ask. If you don't ask, the answer is always no. If they say no the first time, ask again. Maybe they didn't see the value in it. We've got scripts for it. If they say no after the scripts, pick up the phone and call them and say, look, I just want to make sure that you realize what's going on 
and that you can get 15 points, which is like $15 if you, if you put that order on a subscription before the end of the month. So make sure that they know that they are giving up something and how easy it is. Even walk them through it so they can see that everything's with the click of a button and tell them they're gonna do you a favor. People are much more willing to do it for somebody else than they are for themselves, believe me. So whatever you gotta do, get your customers on subscription. That is not just to win $1,500. That, that is the building block of your business. That is, that is the foundation of growing your business is getting people on subscription so they don't forget to order um, the next month and make sure that they know to look out for that email and put it in their, I have my people put it in their calendar for the date to change products. Call Melissa, change products. Or after they do it a month, they know how to do it themselves. So make sure you tell them um, because Hillary can tell you that it is not fun when a big prize is going to be given away and your name is called and you get $25 instead of the, of the jackpot prize. And uh, I hope that doesn't happen this time, but um, it is possible right now because there is a, uh, there's a big, big percentage that it could happen because of, um, I think we've only got 43% that signed up this month on subscription. So go back and do that. Um, and I'll be using my new members report. So every single person that signed up, if they, if you have uh, people that signed up with a jump start, make sure they order again before the end of the month. So you get that 120. And so they go into the drawing because it doesn't matter if it's, if it's one, two or three orders, however, you've got to get them up above 120 so that that name is in the drawing, do that. Okay, um, accountability groups. If you have not joined an accountability group, oh my gosh, you're missing out. Um, we have got, let me think, one, two, three, four, five accountability groups. And it doesn't matter if you're directly on my team. We've got cross lines in there. We've got um, whoever is going for that rank can be in, the, in that group. And if you want to be an accountability group, prepare to be accountable because it's a voluntary thing. It is not required that everybody that's in those groups have asked to be in the group. And I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna give a shout out because we've got an I am manager, people going for manager. We've got people going for silver manager. We've got people going for gold manager. We've got director's group and we've got an executive group. The executive group hits 100% every single day. And that's why they're at that level because they do their work every single day, even when it's hard. But I'm gonna say, for the past three days in a row, the I am manager group have swept it. They are not even managers yet, but they have run away with it. They've had the highest percentage of completion of their IPA. So shout out to them. Woo woo, go guys. Yeah. And that's what's going to get you to those levels. That's what's going to get you to those ranks. That's what's going to get you to those global bonus pools. That's what's going to get you those trips for two, all expenses paid to all over the place in the world. So if you want it, work for it. And I posted something this week that it said, um, don't complain about not having it if you're not working for it. So every single month, uh, there's people that say, God, man, I cannot believe I didn't get this work and work harder because you're not going to get to an executive level putting in a half hour a day. I'm going to promise you, you're not going to make six figures a year putting in 30 minutes a day you've got to whatever you put into it's what you're going to get out of it so just keep that in mind um because we're going to talk about where to find extra time because i think in the summertime we get busy the kids are home and there's things going on and we think we don't have time to do it well that's a lie because there are things that you cannot do that don't pay you and replace those with things that are income producing activities. I will help you find the time. Um, I wanna finish going through all of our housekeeping stuff first. So also starting tomorrow, and this is something I'm really, really excited about. I have got some, um, some of my accountability partners, the people that I talk to on a daily basis um, about my business, they are going to be helping me out because like I told you, we're going to be doing some interactive training on those accountability groups. And if you guys um, 
if you guys know me, if you watch me, if you uh, talk to me, you know who my accountability partners are. Because what, what have I told you? If you want to be at the top, you hang out with the people at the top. Well, everybody that asked me this weekend asked me what rank I was. And of course I said, I'm an ambassador. My points may not show it, but that's what I am right here in my head. So that's who I hang out with. I hang out with the people who are at the rank that I wanna be. So starting this week, the ones of you who have the highest percentage of IPA completions in your groups are going to get some interactive one-on-one -on -one training. And there's no telling who's going to show up for these training. It's going to be exclusive just for your accountability group. So get in the group that you need, that you're going for the rank, hold your people accountable. Hold your group accountable. If you see somebody not turning in their IPAs every day, message them, tell them, come on, because they asked to be in there. They asked to be held accountable. You guys asked for that. That's why we forgot the accountability groups. So I am really, really excited about that. I have got some great people lined up to talk to you, to train you, to teach you, to have one-on-one -on -one question and answer sessions. You want to be a part of this. You want to be a part of a winning group. And I see Stephanie Mincy's. I see her wheels are turning because she's one of the ones that she's like, chop, 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 that she's in that manager group. And she, I can see her becoming a, an amazing leader because she is pouring into the people that's in that group. And I just, I love watching that. Um, so. I am really excited about that. So get your group up there. If we, if the people that have tied at hundred percent, if there's ties, it'll be both groups that are in this, that are in the, uh, in the training. So, so of course our executive team, the ones that are going for executive, I know they're going to be at every training. So get those, get those IPAs turned in. Freezing, you guys, every single system this month comes with freezing. That is huge. That's a $50 uh, value for any system. We are going to be using that because we are going to be doing our July rebate sale, that our rebate event that's coming up. We're gonna do it on July the 25th. We do these three times a year. We usually do it in um, February, I think. Yeah, February. We do it in July and we do it in October. So those that this is we don't do them often because it would it would lose the effect and the excitement. But in order for this to be an, a success, everybody needs to participate. It's, it's absolutely voluntary. We'll give you all the rules. And a lot of you have been here since February. But those of you that are new, oh my gosh, is that an exciting event? Exciting night. We have people coming out of the woodworks and I have got distributors. Actually, I don't know if any of, I'm gonna look and see if any of them are on there, but I have got, I have got one girl that actually ordered during a rebate event. I had never even talked to her before. She didn't even know what she was ordering. She ordered the ultimate just because she didn't wanna miss out on anything. That's how powerful these things are. And if you get excited, if you get your prospects excited, Get them in this event. Tell them what's going on. These are people that have been sitting on the fence for a while and they just need that extra kick in the pants to get off the fence and come along and do this. You know, it's those people that you know they want to do it and they just need that little extra push. So we're going to push them. We're going to push them hard and we're, gonna, we're not going to uh, let them go this month without getting on one of these systems. Um, so we'll talk about more about that in the next couple of days. Look at your... Um, Make sure you talk to your leaders. So make sure you're looking in your um, team chats because I'm going to be um, giving all the information to, um, to your upline so they can pass it down to you. That's going to be exciting. So whatever goal that you've got for yourself, you might want to go ahead and push it up a little bit because that's how awesome this is. And I see all of the ones that have done these with me before. Shake your head if you think this is the greatest thing to, to increase points. So I see Vicky shaking her head. And I see Hillary shaking her head. Dawn Abbott, she should, she's, she knows how they are. She should be shaking her head. There's a lot of people. Uh, Sydney, y'all are gonna, the ones of you that are new, I cannot wait for you to see how amazing this is. You're gonna love it. Um, the two a day, I hope every single person watched Room at the Top last Wednesday night. I think it was Wednesday night. We have got a two a day challenge. 
We are not promoting the best product we have. We are, we are pushing it to the wayside. We're forgetting about it. It's time to bring that to the top. It is time to promote the very best product that we have, and that is our compensation plan. Go find the business builders. Go find the people that are dynamic. Go find the people that have the infectious personalities. Go find the people that are magnetic. The ones that post on Facebook and you have 200 people like or comment on your post. Go find the waitress that's adorable, that's working because she has to. She's probably leaving her kids at home. Find the people who need to build this business with you. Find the people who love to travel. Find the people who complain every Monday because they got to go back to work. Find those people. And there are scripts in our boards that tell you exactly what to say and exactly what to send in order to hunt for your business builders. You can't put a post out there and fish for them. This is something you're going to have to hunt two a day. If you hunt for two business partners a day, by the end, I think if we started last Wednesday, by the end of July, you will have made contact and sent a video to 40 different people. Of those 40 people, statistics say, if you're hunting and they get to the point where they say, yes, I'll watch a video, two, you're gonna have two business builders by the end of the month. How fantastic will that be? And you know what? If it's not in that percentage, do it another, do it another 15, two weeks. You'll have another 40 that you've talked to and you can get two more or keep going until you find them. In, um, in the leaders page under files, and I looked for this, I think Amanda, I found it for Amanda the other day. There is a memory jogger. It's got hundreds of things that will jog your memory of who to contact for business builders. So go in, look at that list and you can print out a whole contact list and everything. Go in and look and it will, it will ask you, like give you ideas of people that you've come in contact with, like in the past, in the present, and it will jog your memory to, um, to find the people that, um, that you would want to build this business with. That is huge. If you do that, that's what's going to make the shift. That is when, where our business is going to go from where we are right now to heights that we can't even fathom. I truly believe that we've got to make the shift. A um, couple more things real quick, July 24th. I know that we've got a huge group from Statesboro coming, coming up to Atlanta for our um, summer training. We are going to have Freddie Elias, uh, who is an ambassador. He's like the godfather of Zingular, y'all. He is amazing. He is a multi, 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 multi. I can't really, I can't, not compliance wise, I'm not supposed to tell you, but multi, 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 multi million dollar earner with Zingular. He is dynamic. He can, he is so real and so genuine. He loves people. He loves pouring into people. And he is going to do two trainings for us that day. I'm also going to be training um, and we may have, a surprise or two for you. Um, we're going to be there from one to four. And I think we decided that we were gonna come in a little early, like around 12 and you can bring a sack lunch. You can have lunch there, whatever it is. And we'll get our reunion stuff taken care of so we can start right at one because I know us. So if we say be there at one, you get there at one and we talk for a half hour before training starts because everybody's hugging everybody. So be there at noon. We'll do our big reunion, talk to each other, bring in your lunch. You can bring in whatever. There's all kinds of things around here. Uh, you could Uber it, whatever it is. And, um, and then we'll, we'll do our reunion for, um, for about an hour and we'll start right at one o'clock. And then um, for those of you in Marietta, we have got a city meeting with Ryan Barson coming in on August the 24th. And that's actually going to be at the same place that the training is going to be in Marietta. So. Um, I, there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. And the reason that people are looking at our team is because of how motivated we are. The numbers are going up. Most people's are not. I'm just going to be real with you guys. Most teams, the numbers are not going up. Um, our team is, we have got a motivation started a few months ago and it has not stopped. It is just keeps increasing. And we have got to keep our foot on the gas. That's what's going to drive it. That's what's going to get us 
to that next level through the summer because what usually happens in the summer is things slow down because the people working slow down. There's not a less demand for our product in the summer. It's just everybody's got things going on and everybody's got kids home and it's just harder. Well, just because it's harder doesn't mean you stop. Just because it's a weekend doesn't mean you don't do your work. You've got to commit to doing it every single day if you want to leave a legacy company, if you want to build an empire, which every single one of you can. You just have to work for it every single day. So what are you doing now in the short time that makes you feel good, that's keeping you from hitting your long-term goals? So this is where the time thing, um, the time thing comes in. Um, and there's all kinds of things that happen that, uh, let me see, hang on. I've got, I just lost my place. I just did this training this morning for another team and it was so good and I just lost my place. My whole thing closed, of course it did. Hang on, hold, hold on, okay. All right, so you've got to give up the things that don't pay you or you'll never have time. And a lot of the things are TV. That's a big one. We talk about that all the time. And right now, Bachelor's, on, oh, I don't think the Bachelor's still on, Bachelorette's still on, Big Brother's on, HGTV is always hot and, and interesting, Netflix binging. There's all kinds of stuff that people do. That does not pay you. That does not pay you. Turn your TV off. Turn off the things that you can, because you can't not spend time with your family. You've got to do that. You can't not spend time with the Lord. You've got to do that. You've got to go to work if you have a job. There's things that you have to do. So find the things that you don't have to do and stop. And these are some things that are going to probably step on some toes with some people because um, some of them are actually people do them thinking they're working, you know? But the things that are, are not work-related, scrolling Facebook or TikToks, watching videos through TikToks that have no meaning, no purpose, you know, no, watching the girl with the uh, TikTok leggings and seeing the reaction is not going to pay you. I'm just telling you that. It's not going to pay you. Getting sucked into a thread with all this drama going on is not going to pay you. And I don't know, but like, my thing is we're on this thread called Alatuna Lake Life. And some of you that live around here probably are too. There's so much drama on that. And I can click over there and I'll see somebody post something. And then all of a sudden, it is just like 20 minutes have gone by and I've got to read every comment. It's like, you, it's like they just suck you in. That doesn't pay me. That just wasted 20 minutes that I could have spent doing something else. Um, Candy Crush, any... Facebook gamers, that doesn't pay you. But let's, let's switch it around, okay? Trying to do too many things at once and at the end of the day, not getting anything done. Not time blocking, not getting the things that you need to do done, um, the thinking that you're working. What about doing other people's work? Are you doing too much for your team? Are you still doing chats for somebody after they've done, after you've done seven? How about after you've done three, we've got boards. Empower your team. Don't do their work for them. Teach them how to do it. That gives you more time. Um, what about not delegating? If, if you have an event, are you planning the whole thing? Are you doing the whole thing? Are you doing the, your trainings? Delegate to your team. Empower them to be leaders. What about, um, what about complaining or causing drama? That's a tough one. That will kill the momentum on your entire downline. So um, what about just thinking about doing something instead of actually doing it? Making lists, trying to get organized. And then the next thing you know, the end of the day is gone. And all you've done is write stuff down and you haven't done it. Think you've got to have the income. You've got to have the IPA list, either the Google Doc, and I'm, I'm going to tell you, even if you have a Google Doc, you've still got to have some kind of organization with Teamsy. You've got to be putting things in Teamsy, or you've got to be keeping a log of the things that you do, or else you're going to be searching the next day of 
oh my God, I don't remember what I did yesterday. You've got to have some kind of log and keep it. Um, set your goals daily and do it. Write a list at the beginning of the day, the daily tasks that you need to do that day and check them off, mark through them, get them done. Um, get plugged in and surround yourself with people who believe in you and will hold you accountable. Our accountability groups, you guys, work those groups, talk to each other, encourage each other, motivate each other, inspire each other, come up with ideas together in order to grow your, your business. You're the CEO. You don't work for anybody. Let me ask you a question. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go off track a second. If you had invested $500,000 into this singular business, would you be doing more than you're doing right now? Because if you were to open a brick and mortar store and start a just traditional business, you could not have done it for $500. You know, and you wouldn't have got all these amazing products made you feel this way. You would have invested thousands upon 10,000s, even hundreds of thousands of dollars to open a brick and mortar store, get all of the inventory, pay all of the rent, get all of the, everything set up the way you want it, get every cash registers, hire employees, get insurance. I mean, everything, there's all kinds of overhead for a traditional business. So if you had invested $500,000 into a business, would you work that business more than you're working your singular business? And if so, why? because you got the same opportunity with the small investment that you made with no overhead than you do with a traditional business. If I were to tell you that from now until next July, you could make $100,000 with this, would you do more than what you're doing now? Hillary just did it. Hillary got to a point where from now to the next 12 months, she is going to make six figures with this company. She's going to do it. You know why? She works. She has four kids too. So you talk about not having a lot of time, but she finds time to work her business because it's important. It's going to give her the time freedom. It's going to give her the financial freedom. It's going to give her, uh, it's going to be able to pay for her kids to go to any college they want to go to. It's going to allow her husband to retire early. It's going to allow them to live a life that most people can't because she works it every day because she does what most people won't. That's what, that's the difference. So, and again, I know we've got outside jobs. I know we've got families. I know we've got other priorities, but make the shift in your head and make Zingular a priority instead of just a hobby. Look at it as you are the CEO of a major corporation. And it's yours. It's your legacy. And it's a willable business, which is going to be carried on to, for generations and generations. If you, put, if you put yourself into it. So... Don't compare yourself to others. That's the next thing. I want to get back on track now. Don't compare yourself to others. This is not, your journey is not the same as somebody else's. You don't have the same life. You don't wear the same shoes. You don't walk the same walk. Don't compare yourself to others. Do what you can do. And then you, you in turn pour into your team and encourage them to do the same thing. But you, you focus on you. You have your tunnel vision. You look at your goals and don't let people, what somebody else or somebody else is doing distract you. This is where you want to go. And it's so easy to get frustrated. And it's so easy to just for, for that to just is to wear on you and, and wear down on your shoulders. It's not easy. But if you think back, we've said this, Kevin Scott, um, Kevin Paul Scott was one of our speakers um, at Zinkling and, and when we went to Pigeon Forge and what he said was, it's a simple process. What we do is simple, but it's not easy. And if you look back over all of the things that, that are huge accomplishments in your life, they weren't easy. They were hard, but they were worth it, right? right going to school, graduating, raising kids, um, getting married, having a, having a marriage. <laughs> That's not, it's not easy, but it, it's hard, but it's worth it. 
you know, you put the effort into it. It's worth it. The things that you've accomplished, the huge accomplishments, the promotions, the, all the stuff that you've had that are, that you look back on that have been amazing accomplishments in your life have been hard. But when you look back now, aren't you glad you did it? Aren't you glad you put in the effort? Aren't you glad that you went the extra, you know, extra steps and, and just did it? Commit to it. Don't quit. That's the only way that you're going to fail is if you quit. If you walk away from this, you're going, this is one of the things that you're going to look back and regret because I've got people who have. I've got people who started with me at the beginning, walked away, and now they have told me, I wish, that's the one thing I wish I hadn't done is, is quit. I wish I had stuck it out. You've got to believe in the industry, which a lot of people don't know, but network marketing is going to produce more millionaires than any other business in America, in the entire country, that's, or probably world. I mean, network marketing is, is the future. That's where it's gonna be. You've got to believe in this company. And I'm gonna tell you, if you weren't on the call Monday night, then I'm sorry for you, but that right there is proof that this company cares about you. Our CEO just popped on our call out of the blue because he wanted to pour into our team. Now, if that doesn't speak volumes about the company and the culture and the character of our leaders, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. They love us. And I believe, I mean, it is sincere. It is not put on. It is a sincerity that they want to do what's in our best interest. It's amazing. You got to believe in the products and you wouldn't be here if you didn't. Um, you've got to believe in the process. And you've got to believe in sharing this opportunity that the opportunity can change somebody's life just like the products can. And you can't be scared to talk about it. You've got to talk about the business because if you don't talk about the business and you just sell people kits, you become a kit slinger and your business is going to be stagnant. It's not going to grow. It is not going to grow. You have got to build a team. You have got to find people who sh to share this with others. That is, and the opportunity is going to afford them the afford them the a way to continue with the products that are helping them so much. So don't hold back. Don't not tell them. That's a blessing for them. The whole first year I did this, I was scared to death to tell people about the business because I didn't want them to think that I wanted them to use our products just to get money from them. I didn't even tell them. And you know what happened? I had a lot of people not continue. And you know why? Because they couldn't afford it. They didn't have a way to afford it. And these mamas uh, and, and even, even the dads, they don't, they would rather spend money on other people than themselves. Men and women, especially women, I can speak for women and there's some men on here as y'all gonna have to speak for yourself. But as, as women, I was, Growing up, I was always willing to spend money on my daughter, on other things. And me, I would do, I would just always go to the clearance rack. I would buy nice things for them. I would go to the clearance rack. But you've got to give them away. Because once you do them, if you want to share them, you know, and you help them do that. And the ceiling's the limit. No, there's no limit. The ceiling's not the limit. There's limitless, a limitless opportunity. Um, when you truly, and then the last thing you have to believe in of after the opportunity is this is the most important thing. So you got to believe in the industry. You've got to believe in the company. You've got to believe in our products. You've got to believe in the process, a duplicatable process. Don't try to reinvent the wheel, do what's there for you. You've got to believe in the opportunity and you've got to believe in yourself. You've got to get out of your own way. You got to get out of your own head and your own self-doubt is what kills more dreams than anything else. Look in the mirror and tell yourself, I can do this. If you are comparing yourself to others, or if you think I can't do what she does, bull crap, tell yourself you can give yourself those positive affirmations every single day. Tell yourself every single day. I am amazing. I am an executive. You speak it over yourself. What comes out and what goes in here and what is what comes out and is translated to everybody else. So pour into yourself every day. And I can, I can tell you all day long how amazing it is, but until you believe it yourself, it's not going to, it's not going to flow out of you. 
you've got to pour it into your head. You've got to say it over yourself. You've got to speak life. Quit speaking death over you. Quit saying, I can't, I won't, I'm not, I, I'm sorry. Quit saying those things and quit start speaking life and truth and belief and pour it into you. Because when you get to that, when you figure that out, everything else is going to happen. Because I'm going to tell you, when I figured that out and I started writing it, I got a dry erase board and my husband can testify to this and he can tell you because he would have to go like this to try to look in the mirror to shave because I had so much stuff written on my mirror. Because I figured it out and I could believe it. And if I could get rid, if I could increase my self-confidence and if I could believe in myself, I could do anything. And that's why I say, I, nobody can tell me that I'm not an ambassador because I believe it with everything in me. I walk it, I talk it, I speak it, I eat it, I work it. I, that's who I am. And it's because I believe it with every fiber of my being, but nobody told me that. I had to figure that out myself and I had to pour that belief into myself. You can do that too. There's nothing different about you than me. Nothing. There's nothing that I'm doing that you cannot do. Not one thing. So when you truly believe in yourself, fear is not going to hold you back from anything. There's going to be a boldness that rises up in you. You're going to be able to step outside that comfort zone and do things that you never dreamed in a million years that you would be able to do. But you've got to pour it into yourself and you've got to believe in yourself. So with that said, we have got Zing Fest coming up in October in Dallas. I want every single one of you to find a way to go because there is nothing like, I, we can sh show you videos, we can show you pictures, but there is nothing in this world like being there, seeing it, feeling it, tasting it. It pours something into you that nobody can explain. So I don't know, I, figure it out. It, the investment, the, the small investment that you make to go, it is priceless what you get in return the, for that return on investment. So figure out a way to get there. It's in Dallas at the Gaylord uh, Convention Center. It's um, going to be October the, somebody help me, 14th through the 17th, I think. And we are all going to be there with bells on. We have our own little team who raws and get togethers. I mean, we you will leave a different person. You will leave different. You will see the culture and the, how everything works and how, you know, you'll see the vision of where this can go. You'll see every ordinary people, every or every day, ordinary people, just like you doing extraordinary things with the same tools that you have. So in the chat really quick, everybody know how to get to your chat. I think you click on the more button and then you click on chat. I want you to go in and I want you to make a declaration because you've got to speak it to believe it. Um, and the things that I wrote down were um, take the reins and run, be self-motivated, show up and quit making excuses. No excuses. You can't have excuses. You can have results or excuses, but you can't have both. So I want you to speak it. I want you to declare it. And I want you to say right now, what rank will you be? At Zing, Fling, at Zing Fest in October. So that's August, you've got three and a half months. Where are you going to be in October walking across the stage at Zing Fest? Declare it right now. And while you're doing that, I'm seeing it all over the place. I love it. While you're doing that, I am going to go ahead and um, does anybody have anything really quick? That's all I got tonight. It was a little bit long. I'm sorry. Anybody got anything to say? I'm seeing all kinds. I love this. I love it. I love it. Love it. Well, I'm going to declare Ephesians 3.20 over this team. God is going to do exceedingly and abundantly more than we can think or ask because we honor him. His blessings are going to chase us down and overtake us. We are in the right place at the right time. And I declare a boldness to rise up in each and every one of you. God is going to open up supernatural doors. People are going to seek us out. And every single one of you are going to rise in the ranks. And we are going to give him the honor and the glory for it all. I love you guys so much. 
Have a good night. Get in your accountability groups and make sure that everybody does their IPAs today because you don't want to miss tomorrow. And I love you guys. Have a great night.